Hey guys, Ian here and welcome to episode 15 of my subscriber feedback series and I'm going to start off by saying that I was a little bit disappointed uh, that even though I said in the last one uh, not to submit more than 100, well, um, almost every single person submitted at least two. Um, I managed to pick five out which hadn't submitted more than one so this one isn't quite as random. Um, purely because you didn't listen to the comments I said. So if you do submit more than one this episode, again, it will be disallowed. I'm not even going to put auto allowance of video responses on, uh, just so I can go through it a bit more. The first one you submit will be the one which I allow. All the rest will get ignored. Um, some people submitted like seven, which is so unfair um, to everyone else who are submitting one entry which they really want to get reviewed. You don't really seem to care what gets said as long as you get a bit of attention. So yeah, with that out the way, uh, we'll go through the ones which I've selected because they have actually submitted one and not seven. And whoever has submitted that many knows who you are and so don't do it again. So this first one um, is the Warner Brothers opening uh, in Cinema 4D, and we'll play it through now. Okay, so this is really cool. Um, you've decided to kind of recreate all of, well, some of the title sequences in, um, a lot of films so here we have the Warner Brothers logo which is really well modeled um, really smooth the thing with kind of Warner Brothers logos is normally um, they're really detailed uh, really colorful uh, you may have copied this off something which does look like this and then fair play uh, but a lot of the ones I've seen uh, they've gone really high detail kind of bump maps normal maps displacement uh, just to give a really nice result so it would have been uh, nice if there was like a bit more detail on it, but I really like this kind of red inside bit here as well Looks really nice uh, very clean. I like the kind of lightning in the background as well and the kind of very subtle particles um, This is really nice as well um, really nice modeling of the logo um, The materials are nice maybe a bit more bevel on the edges just to kind of give it a bit of um, shine on the lighting and maybe it's a little bit dark, I'm not too sure. Um, and it's always nice just to keep a bit of movement in so you can see like now um, it just stops and then it kind of fades out. Um, so what could have happened is uh, you could have had uh, the logo appear over the top of the other one and so when this appears um, you make the other logo disappear just so it kind of flows a bit better. Um, and so that comes in really nicely, but again, it just stops. So maybe it could have just been moving back um, ever so slightly, um, and it would have been a bit nicer effect. But really well done. Um, nice recreation of the logos. Um, I really like it. So great job. The next one we have is um, Darth Perspective Intro. And pause that in case I get copyright issues um, hopefully a second won't affect it so I'll play it again um, nice depth of field maybe a bit too much kind of flickering in the lights um, the particles are nice uh, but maybe a little bit too large um, but overall pretty nice um, the textures could do with a bit of work and um, maybe these bits could have come together slowly um, rather than uh, just constantly apart uh, so like the text comes together maybe the logo could have come together as well um, again a beveled edge would have been a bit nicer just to get a bit of uh, shine on the edge um, just to give it a bit more um, kind of depth and 3D look uh, and again on the logo as well could have happened um, could have done the same 
The blue in the background may be a bit too overpowering as well for the text. Um, it kind of blends in too much. Um, but overall pretty nice. Um, just kind of work on the finer details and it'll get there. Next we have Excess Paintball. Um, So this started off uh, really nicely. I, lo I love uh, this kind of coming out um, and these stars extruding. What could have happened as well, I know I'm being quite critical, um, rather than just being extruded, what you could have done is um, had a point in the middle of the logo um, and extruded that out to get a kind of, um, I don't know, like a point in the middle so it wasn't completely flat. Um, just to kind of give the star a bit more kind of a chisel look um, so yeah that looked really nice and then um, there's quite a bit of flickering um, and it's very washed out uh, this piece as well so you can see we have the black bars and nothing else is kind of black everything's like the blacks in this are actually um, grey like not even a particularly dark grey um, which kind of ruins the contrast of the pic the image I really like the shine though um, yeah, what have I done Back. Um, what you could have done is exported the camera from Cinema 4D or had um, a null object um, on this so you could actually export um, the data from Cinema 4D so you could have had this um, text spinning with it as you can see it kind of spins uh, just on its own axis here which um, kind of doesn't fit too well but this starts really nice and this could have worked but maybe just kind of focus on one effect rather than combining uh, loads of different ones and you can see here um, just there there's a tiny bit of an issue with your ball object if you just change it to non high quality it'll work um, a lot better it'll look messier in your scene but the rendering out you won't get that kind of uh, jumpy look so really nice job overall and the shine's really nice uh, adds to it a lot but um, just remember um, don't go too crazy um, with kind of making it washed out. Next we have Intense Arts. Again if you want to listen uh, to any of these with sound the link will be in the description below uh, to their channel and video so check them out, give them a subscribe if you like their work and yeah check their video out, uh, tell them well done, whatever. Um, so this, um, pretty crazy, um, I'm glad when it did come out, it did kind of wobble in a tiny bit, um, it didn't just kind of stick, um, it's quite nice, I like, I like the shake as well, um, again a bit more bevel slash highlight on the outside would have made it look a bit more 3D, maybe not straight on as well, it's always nice to have it at a slight angle, um, that way uh, you can see kind of how far it's extruded out um, nice texturing the only problem is it's clear that there's one texture over the whole thing rather than a separate one on each because the radial um, part of the metal starts in the very center and goes out which makes it look slightly less realistic so if you just apply the material to each one individually it should work a bit better um, so yeah, nice motion blur, and again, um, it's quite washed out, um, you don't really have the contrast, like you don't have a nice white um, area here, so even though it works a bit here, um, it's only really because of the flare that you can kind of make it out a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's quite nice, maybe there should have been some text um, explaining what it, like, who it was, 
because I wouldn't know unless I kind of read the uh, description down there. Um, and then maybe something rather than fading out. I know I do that a lot, but um, I don't know. Just kind of play around. But I, I like the twist. Um, it works quite nicely. Uh, just kind of work on a bit more dramatic lighting. And finally we have Psycho is it? Studios introduction. And I think I did see this um, when it first came out maybe. Um, don't know if it's been submitted before but I'm pretty sure I haven't reviewed it. So I really like um, the kind of letters hanging on chains. Um, they might be swaying slightly, I'm not too sure. Um, the issue is you can't really read it when it's here. Um, like it vaguely man makes sense, um, but it kind of looks like T-D-O-S-U-I-S. -S. Um, it's quite hard. Um, to read. Like, it's fine there but because it's so dark um, the viewers probably won't know that they're meant to be uh, trying to read it especially yet because it's kind of just um, the teaser basically before the final reveal. Uh, this is really nice again it's pretty dark all round um, some kind of better lighting would have worked really well um, I believe just kind of just something in here because it looks almost 2D at this point. Um, so just some lighting um, from the side. Uh, just to really kind of bring it out. Uh, it's this kind of giant hanging object. And maybe there should have been one final chain or two. Uh, connecting this up to the ceiling. So this itself is hanging. Um, or against a wall or something. But I really like this one. Um, Good work with wrapping the chains around the actual logo. Nice idea with it hanging. It's just quite hard to read. Um, so yeah, overall really nice. I really like that one. Um, so yeah, that's the five intros I found. And congratulations to those people who actually listened and didn't submit more than one to make it incredibly unfair on ed everyone else. In fact, by only submitting one, they actually got a much higher chance of getting their stuff reviewed. Because I had to disqualify about 50 people. So, well done to them. And again, next time, if you don't, uh, if you do submit more than one, again, you will not be chosen. So, uh, keep that in mind. And thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of that. And I shall see you very soon.